Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. If you like wine, if you like mead, if you like cider, and you want to learn how to make it for yourself, this is the place for you. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time I come out with a new wine and a new video. Today I'm going to be bottling up a three gallon batch of cider that I made going on a month ago now, I believe. Um, I'll leave a card up here to show you my, it's the, the, the video is my $20 cider press. So this is going to be uh, fresh apples that I pressed and made into cider and we'll be bottling it up today. So stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be bottling up a three gallon batch of cider so I'll go over what you're gonna need of course you'll need three gallons of cider ready to be bottled and I'm gonna it's kind of heavy <laughs> so we'll be making I'll be making a sparkling cider all my ciders I like sparkling so if I'm gonna make a cider it's gonna be sparkling so I'm gonna have some sugar to uh, force carbonate not force carbonate prime and today I'm going to try out something new. I'm coming up with a video to, um, soon, like a starter kit, a cheap starter kit for those who want to uh, get into wine and cider and mead making, but just don't have the funds. So I'm going, and I'm not going to recommend something unless I try it myself. So today I'm going to be bottling the sparkling cider into a, these are like a, a 1.25 liter coke bottles that were on sale for a dollar so i'm everything's that future video everything's gonna be cheap so for those who want to brew but don't have the money so like i said i'm not gonna recommend something unless i try it myself so these are designed to hold a carbonated drink so you know i've heard people doing this i'm gonna try it myself i've never done it myself but i'm going to bottle using 1.25 liter soda bottles so let's get started. What you'll need to, for step one is a bottling bucket. The difference between a regular bucket and a bottling bucket, it's got a spigot, that's all. And you'll need a racking cane. This is to transfer my three gallons from my carboy into my bottling bucket. So your um, bottling bucket needs to be slightly lower. It, it doesn't have to be, but it helps. Slightly lower than your um, carboy. So I'm gonna do this off camera real quick and we'll be right back. Say my carboy, I mean my bottling bucket is right off camera, but I will show you this part. And I've uh, I noticed on a lot of like home brewing forums, people is, is my, is my uh, brew c contaminated? Don't worry. See, there's some yeast at the top. There's a yeast boat. Long as long as it smells good and tastes good, you should be okay. So we're just going to give this a couple of pumps and get it going. And it doesn't take any time at all. Your nose knows and your taste buds know. So if if it tastes bad, if it smells bad, it's contaminated. So Unless it tastes bad, smells bad, it's okay. Don't stress so much. This is supposed to be fun. And I'm having fun. And <laughs> a little tip I just checked. Make sure your nozzle is off before uh, you transfer your cider to your bottling bucket. I'm uh, talking from experience. Make a big mess on the floor if you leave the nozzle on. Like when you're cleaning and sanitizing, I like to open the nozzle up and let the sanitizer run out it. So, and if you forget to close it, you will have a big mess on the floor. So let's get this transferred and we'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna get our little soda bottle. In the South, we call them Coke bottles. Don't, no matter, don't matter what's in it, it's all Coke. So we're gonna get our Coke bottle. I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of sugar to this. That is to kick start the yeast so it'll start kicking out carbon dioxide again and 
that carbon dioxide will be sealed up in there and dissolve into our cider, making it sparkling. I ha have five of these uh, 1.25 liter soda bottles, so I'm going to use those five and then I'm going to finish it off with the regular growth style bottle, flip, flip top bottles. And that's what it looks like. Completely, almost completely full. You got about an inch, you know, about an inch from the top. So I'm gonna fit, fill the rest of these up. And when you go for, get to the gross flip style bottles, I uh, only put one teaspoon per bottle. So now on to the next one. Now these were designed to hold carbonation, carbonated drinks. So these will be fine. But like I said, I want to test them before I recommend them. So let me get the rest of this bottled up and we'll be right back. And that's how I bottle my ciders to get them sparkling. So, so here's the finished product. It's gonna be about two weeks and it'll get good and sparkle, good and carbonated. I'm gonna uh, cold crash it. And that means I'm just gonna stick it in the refrigerator and then, uh, then I'm going to enjoy. Maybe we'll do a live tasting. And think about bottling, you always have a little bit left over. You can get a little taste. That's good. So if you like what you see here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Also, there's a link in the description for my Facebook group. It is growing, growing now, so there's plenty of people in there. Give advice who's been doing this for a while, too. And tips, tricks, anything you might need, you ask it there. There's a bunch of people there willing to help. Also, there's links in the description, Amazon affiliate links. Uh, even if you don't buy, if you don't need any wine equipment, if you, uh, whatever you do buy for your daily Amazon uh, purchases, I will get a, a, a commission off of that. So please do that. Help me buy more equipment and more ingredients. We make more wine. This is Chris with Winemaker TV, and that's all there is today.